So here today to talk about intraosseous cannulation. Um, intraosseous cannulation is, or IO uh, placement is used for times when uh, intravenous access uh, is um, very difficult or not practical. Uh, used many times in resuscitation um, in both pediatrics, infants, uh, adults. We'll primarily talk about adult IO placement today. Um, two different size needles, um, there is a 25 millimeter and a 45 millimeter. Um, they um, can be used either place. The problem is, is that with the 45 millimeter, if you use it on the uh, lower extremity, you're more likely to bury it into the posterior aspect of the cortex, uh, making it uh, an unusable line. So for the placement of YIO, there are several places that you can put it. The most uh, widely accepted is along the medial aspect of the tibial plateau, um, two to three centimeters below the tibial protuberance. On the medial aspect is a large bone mass. Uh, that is where we will um, place the IO. The other places for IO placement are along the distal tibia. Um, the distal tibia uh, just superior to the medial malleolus and posterior to the saphenous vein. Um, that's not as widely used as the proximal tibial plateau. The other two places that um, they are widely used is the sternum. To my knowledge, that hasn't really uh, proliferated in civilian medical treatment. And the other place is the humerus, um, which is becoming more and more in favor because the complications are less. Um, complications such as compartment syndrome. So your biggest complication from uh, tibial plateau IO is compartment syndrome. Uh, you don't see that in the other spots as well, or the other, sorry. You don't see that in the other um, anatomic places to place an IO. Uh, Procedure-wise, uh, it is um, an aseptic technique. You must clean the, clean the surface of the, of the placement site before placing an IO. Um, then you open up your, um, and I, I should say too that this is for easy IO placement of an interosseous uh, or interosseous access. You can use bone marrow needles. You can use, there are several other, um, several other techniques for placing an IO. This one is particularly for the IO uh, driver. The IO driver has a special kit designed for use and the needle attaches magnetically to the driver. Um, you can see that this is the 25 millimeter needle and there is a safety cap. And this part is the stylet that actually um, is in the middle of the needle. You remove the safety cap, you place it, uh, the needle on the driver, and then the technique is two finger breadths down from the tibial tuberosity and two finger breadths uh, medial. Um, at this point, you want your driver 90 degrees or perpendicular to the bone mass itself. And you're actually going to push the needle through the tissue until you hit bone. At this point, you can pull the trigger on the, the needle driver, however, or on the, uh, the drill. Um, you don't want to put any downward pressure. The needle itself will bore through the bone. So as soon as you start pulling the trigger, it'll start bo boring through the bone. As soon as you feel give of the cortex, you want to stop. You're in the cortex or you're in the um, inner bone and you're where you want to be. So now that we've pushed through the tissue, if you pull the trigger, you can hear it kind of bores down a little bit and then right there is where you want to stop. You've come through the cortex. If you go much, if you go too deep, um, you risk, and, and it depends on body habitus, but you risk driving the needle into the posterior cortex, making the line uh, unusable. At this point, the driver will actually come off because it's magnetically attached. You pull your stylet off while maintaining, um, uh, while holding the, the needle in place. And you actually have a sharps container inside the packaging here to place the, the stylet. This is a, um, essentially a buff cap. So on this side, you pull that off and it attaches to your needle. There is an adhesive dressing that will go over this and help to stabilize the needle as well. This is here, and then a syringe. Take your syringe here, and you actually need to aspirate. Um, this is um, the textbook technique for uh, placement of an IO, is you should be able to aspirate 
and get either blood or, um, so you should be able to aspirate blood or marrow back from the bone itself. At that point, uh, you can disconnect the syringe and the line is ready to use. So in conclusion, inter interosseous uh, access is used in times where you need to get an IV quickly or uh, you have an adult where multiple attempts at intravenous access have been unsuccessful and you need to draw blood, administer, administer, administer medications. Um, I, I do have some contraindications that I should have covered right after the indications for the procedure. Contraindications uh, include osteoporosis, osteogenesis imperfecta. They include uh, overlying skin infection or an abscess or previous IO cannulation at the same site. So in conclusion, um, the uh, indications are anytime that you need a uh, quick access, um, the quick access for medication for, uh, for infusions, um, either in a resusc resuscitation event or when intravenous access is not re readily available. And contraindications are osteogenesis imperfecta, uh, a fracture of the bone overlying infection, or um, previous IO cannulation to the same site.